Hey everybody, Lenny the Lizard Man here with Cardboard Arcade with a brand new segment, What's Lenny Working On? And today, we're building Empire. So when Games Workshop released the Empire Army for the latest edition of Warhammer Fantasy Battles, they released with it a brand new line of models, one of which was this bad boy, which can be built into one of two ways, either the Luminarch of Hish or the Celestial Hurricane. So the first way that you can build this model is the Luminarch of Hish. This really awesome model has several attributes. One, it's a chariot, so you get D6 plus one impact hits when you charge on enemies like other chariots. And then there are the special rules. One, it has the aura of protection. So for all your friendly models within six inches, you get a six plus ward save. Second, you have the Locus of Hish. So on your enemy's magic phase, you get plus one dice to your dispel pool. Lastly, and coolest of all, you have the Solheim's Bolt of Illumination. This is a magic missile that works like a bolt thrower. It has a range of 36 inches, it's strength 8, and has multiple wounds, D3 special rule. And against targets that are undead, both vampire and tomb kings and demons, you get to re-roll failed rolls to wound. So the other way you can build this model is the Celestial Hurricaneum. And like the Luminarch of Hish, it's a chariot, so you get D6 plus 1 impact hits when you charge on enemies, but these have much different special rules. One, you have the Locus of Azir, which on your magic phase gives you plus 1 dice to your magic pool. And then you have the Portents of Battle, which is my personal favorite. So for every friendly unit within 6 inches, they have plus 1 hit in combat, which is awesome. And the last ability is the Storm of Shemtech, which is a direct damage spell using a small template. Once a spell is cast, you place a small template on an enemy unit and then roll d6 to see how far it scatters. The d6 also determines a special ability, which can either be a meteor shower, a lightning strike, a raging tornado, an ice short tempest, or a sudden downpour, which doesn't do anything in the game. But the other abilities are really cool. So, after going over both models and seeing how, what they do in the battlefield, I'm choosing to go with this one, the Celestial Hurricane. One, it makes my units better in combat, and two, it's a planetarium, a battle planetarium, and that's just awesome. To build our set, we need several tools. Up here are my trusty files, which I got from the Gale Force 9 set. They're fairly inexpensive and get a wide selection of different file sizes and types. Then you need clippers. These are my trusty GW clippers. They're about eight years old and work just fine. And these tools are brand new. These are called Emery Boards, released by Games Workshop. They were released uh, with the Settle Fine Cast. They're great for taking out mold lines, or just a little bit of detail you want to follow the way. I really recommend them. Try them out. And lastly, we're gonna need glue. Glue. Clyde! Excuse me, Clyde. That's mine. While we're here, let's talk about plastic glue. Excuse me, Clyde. Thank you. When working with plastic, I really like working with plastic glue instead of super glue. Specifically, because it melts down the plastic components when you bond them together and then fuses them, making a more tight bond. Now, you can use a regular Games Workshop Citadel plastic glue like I'm using, or you can use any other plastic cement or plastic glue, depending where you can find them. But for today, we're gonna use the Citadel range. So. Let's get back to work. So we now have our tools, our model, and our workspace. Now we can begin building our model. So let's break it open. With this kit, we get two large plastic frames. We get a chariot size base to build our model on. And we get a single base for a single model. They give us this so we can build a wizard from the opposite kit. So let's get started.
Okay, and there you have it. We have the majority of our components built. We have the carriage, our crew members, the crew and the wizard, the planetarium components, and the horses. And they're all separated, so they're easy to paint for later on. Now there are extra bells and whistles that the frame provides to decorate your carriage. I'm going to do that later on, just focusing on building the main carriage, but you can decorate any way you want with the different components that the frame gives you. So tune in next time when we talk about painting the model and decorating your base. So this is Lenny the Lizard Man here with Cardboard Arcade telling you to game well. So if you play Empire, anything from Warhammer Fantasy or anything from Warhammer 40,000, check out our store at cardboardarcade.com slash store to take advantage of our 22% discount. When Games Workshop released the latest 